I guess this is the customary sun's going down video. <laughs> what have I gotten done today video? Hi. That's grow light, growing nothing. Ha. <laughs> There's a train coming, if you couldn't tell. Based on frequency of honks, it might be the other side of the river. Um, yeah. So. Sometimes you have to sell things to get rid of them. <laughs> I really don't want to surpass the mandatory taxes with this company, though. So... We're doing 500 daffodils. Jeez, helicopter too. It's a noisy moment to start a video. Oh well. Say hi, Heliochopter. The thing that fluttered by in the meantime, I think is a bat. Yep, there's a bat up there too. So this is 500. That is an unknown additional quantity. And I'll probably be putting them in piles of 10. I did this with... Um, this well-rotted non-pine wood chips those were wood chips at one point but now they're just soil see what I mean so I did that with this as the packing in tubs because once the uh, once the season of daffodils has passed and the greenery dies down, I have no idea where they are. So it's really hard for me to dig them up. So I've pre-dug them, and once the greenery dies down on those, I'll pack them into, I guess, bundles of 100 or something like that, because that's the quantity that I sold them by. Probably get them really good and mixed, too, so that it's not multiple. Uh, so it's not, like, all one color each bin. I thought I had it out each night from Friday. I slept there, watching the stars Friday night. It was great. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I don't know how often I'll do that. Probably not much, but I had that big pile of logs in here, and it went all night. It was me sleeping right there. So if anything went wrong, it should have alerted me. Um, and then each night it was raining. So I put it out, I thought. But it's still smoldering. Whoopsie, whoopsie. We're east coast. It's heckin' damp here. And there's no fire advisory whatsoever. They're very rare in my area to have a fire advisory. Very, very rare. So, you know, sorry Californians, don't panic. This is normal here. So, I started pulling the finished compost off the bottom of this. It's largely wood chips as well, because I was using that as the brown. And so, getting this destroyed area backfilled with the compost, I'll probably top dress it with the wood chips so it's not mud. That's a lot of the bird stuff too. So I put down bird stuff, and then it's a top layer of very wood chippy compost. And then it'll be a top, top layer of wood chips so I can walk through there. Still a mess on the porch. I'm going to wipe this down and take it in. This was uh, one of the mattress pieces for sleeping. Um, birds are still doing good. i got to get in and get the eggs, the two or three that I'll be able to find, because the light-colored wood chips are continuing to be... Difficult for finding their eggs. And then in here... Boy, oh, that must be the other side of the river. Didn't really do anything. I did dig up a couple of pieces of... Uh, of I think these are called wood violets or wild violets or something like that. These ones. Um, and use them to manage the divots where I'm pulling those pots out of the front yard. Yesterday I got a couple of 
uh, the cherry trees potted up. I hope they're not too much worse for the wear. And I brought one of the, the only still potted individual of a um, hazelnut. I have a new migraine medicine and it's making me forget really basic words. So, you know, forgive me if I sound like I've had a concussion or something. Everything's fine. I'll, uh, I'm in the ramping up phase and it's helping a lot. I was getting migraines a lot, which is part of why you weren't seeing me as often. I was losing big chunks of my weekends to them. So then over here, I'm also going to have to backfill some of the divots that I made. And I do believe this is the lead line to my house right there. So I'm actually going to make a pathway over that. So I never risk digging there again. But I got most of the, uh, what you call it, most of the daffodils up out of here so that I can better utilize this space. I think I'm going to have this path take a turn here and go that way and maybe extend this bed this way because with this water tank faced the direction that it is it's it's not very passable there i hold on to the top and swing past like it's monkey bars or something i also um Having seen some wood damages around and seeing that I have like carpenter ants in places and stuff like that, that's part of why I burned so many logs up in the front that I showed you. I've also started with the diatomaceous earth. Gotta take that in because it wasn't supposed to rain at all this weekend, but it rather rained a lot this morning, but I slept in, so it didn't matter. Um, yeah. So... This time of year, you do have to, like, um, walk kind of like this. Drag your feet and kick them because the daffodils are so in the walkway that if you don't walk that way, you're going to fall on your face. Looks like we're going to have a pretty good crop of red light current. I don't know how well set the apple blooms got, but both apples are blooming in the same year, and that's very nice. I still haven't dug out my apple start, um, which was a second shoot off of this from its rootling, but it, it looks like it might have it might have the potential of having had another of the columnar apples grafted on another part of it. And that the nursery just missed that fact. You can also see that the Saskatoon Serviceberry Juneberry Chocolates are starting to make fruit. Still, you can also see that I still haven't harvested any rhubarb. I'm thinking about lining up a bunch of pots through here to get um, safely start the American plum babies because a lot of this is just making sure that these plants stay safe until I can get seed stock plants going by the time I'm properly a nursery again after retirement because it was way more trouble than it's worth when I have a full-time job I will say that so, over here is somewhat Saskatoons and then somewhat things that I thought were Saskatoons when I dug them out of the yard. It's possible some of these could be Bradford pears or other apple-ish, pear-ish type plants. This one's definitely Saskatoon. That one is. And this one's snake root and a black cherry. And here you can see I've started trying to purchase these. So I'm going to try to be organized enough that that might mean something. I think this might be an apple root stock as well. That's an apple. And this I might 
take the cage surround off and put it on the purple flowering raspberries um, to help them get established in the heavy deer and bunny pressure here. I might take this cagey thing off of the persimmon. That's a persimmon. Looks like I'm gonna have a couple of gooseberries. It's in there, trust me. The lighting's starting to get pretty dark. And it looks like I'm gonna start to be able to experiment with seeds for the sea kale. I have heard that if you plant them immediately while they're still green, it's a lot better and you have a lot better success. But I've got plenty of time to experiment with that. And maybe give them as gifts or something, I don't know, for the next while. Or, you know, something. But that's how, whoops, and there's these, these tiny baby bunnies that I almost tripped on again, huh? Did you see them? They're about this big. Look below here. There's a tiny baby bunny. Hop, hop, hop blending into the dirt because that's what the wild ones do but this is the time of year when there's nests in the garden because oh I accidentally knocked that spear it was the first one on the one right next to where I'm doing a path but whoops and I've got to harvest a few up on this end as well I think I might have some for dinner tonight I haven't really been very much on top of the asparagus this year oh well so Yep. That's what we got going on. Hope you're having a really good day. Ooh, the Baptitia. It's doing great. Thank you for visiting the cliffside. As I trip on rocks and hopefully don't make the video too shaky. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my scarret. There's the cliffside. Thank you for visiting it. <laughs> I'm hoping that this will live. This is a uh, cutting of a Siberian pea shrub. And up in here, this is what I mean by planting violets into the sunken places in this part of the lawn. And then there's the cliffside again. Hopefully it didn't get too dark while I was showing you around. Hopefully you could still see some things. I do hope you're having a really good day. Thank you so much for visiting the cliffside. And this has indeed, as usual, been permaculture. Take care. Bye.